It's actually very difficult to really truly define them, um, apart from actually saying that they are uh, completely polar opposites. The old is very much 1980s target golf, um, you know, very informal looking golf course. And I would say the new course is very much the, the new age uh, rustic course that fits very seamlessly into its environment. Um, and, and I would say probably the, the best part of the two courses is that there's, apart from being 18 holes, there are no similarities. This golf course is, like I say, traditional. Uh, it's also a very unique style. There isn't anything like this uh, on mainland uh, continental Europe. It would be similar to something like the Pine Valley, uh, National Golf Links of America, uh, Sunningdale even. Yeah, so this is the 15th, um, Gill's favourite hole. It offers a lot of different uh, options on the tee. It only plays 258 metres from the members' tees. Um, but very, very fun to play. You can hit anything from 8-iron, 7-iron from the tee box, which will leave a, a pitching wedge 9-iron into the green. Or you have bunkers uh, at short of the green, which you can fly with a driver, and that will leave a very difficult, nerve-wracking chip around the green as well. Hit driver and hope. I think that's what I do. But I think for, for the majority of the membership, they hit down to the right-hand side, and that leaves a more favorable shot into the green. That being said, with some of the longer hitters, you can pitch onto the green, release through into the back bunker for an up and down. Uh, 15, I think, is a, is a signature hole. Uh, this particular hole offers a lot of uh, character, a lot of charm. It looks like it's been here for 100 years, and we've only opened the golf course two weeks ago. I think there's no doubt that Gill ultimately wanted people to have fun and, and I think it's quite interesting as you look at the geographics of the site. The old course is very formal, it's like proper golf. We go to the new course, it's still proper golf but it's more relaxed, it's more natural. And then we get to the Wild Piglet and it's all about the best parts of golf. It's fun, it's exciting, you can play it how you want and it's kind of it's like golf without rules and it allows you just to smile and have a fun, you know, fun. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Go out with the kids, go out with your friends, go out with your wife, your partner. It just encourages everyone. And even though it's quite a challenging little par three golf course, uh, you can't help walk around it and play it and hopefully you'll find this afternoon. It's just a big bag of fun and I think, this is something golf really does need to be seen, that there is a lighter side, a fun side to the game.